Hey there, everybody. Just in case you've been keeping up with our read-alouds and reading Horrible Harry and the Ant Invasion, the last chapter we read was called Horrible Harry and the Deadly Fish Tank. And it's a pretty short chapter, so I'll read it, the whole chapter. It says, we have a fish tank in room 2B. Last time, Harry and I counted, there were 25 fish swimming around in it. 20 guppies, four neon fish, and one black molly. Then there was a horrible Monday. This is how it happened. Sydney came to school mad. A little picture there. He was mad about Harry putting ice water down his back on Friday. Even his hair looked angry. It stood on one end. Sydney probably didn't bother combing it. Do you remember why Harry put the ice water down Sydney's back? Had to do with the square dancing and Sydney was closing his eyes and then bumped in to Song Lee. So Harry was getting um, revenge for Song Lee, I guess. Miss Mackle looked at the monitor chart. Boys and girls, I will announce this week's new monitors. Sydney is messenger. Doug is paper monitor. Ida is ant monitor. Mary is plant monitor. Song Lee is sweeper, and when she finally got to Harry, she said, Harry is fish monitor. Harry immediately got up and went back to feed the fish. He turned on the light in the tank and took roll. Carefully, he recorded the number in the fish roll book. Then he checked the temperature. It was in the green part of the thermometer in the 70 to 80 degree range. At lunchtime, Harry fed the fish and then lined up behind me in the cafeteria. I have my favorite dessert, Doug, he said. Two pieces of mom's homemade fudge. I'm saving it for us on the way home from school. I drooled. I know how good Harry's mother's fudge was. Chocolatey, nutty, and mmm, good. There they are talking about the fudge. After lunch, when we were working on our math, Harry walked back to check the tank. Then he shouted, the black Molly is floating on the water. She's dead. Everyone rushed back to the tank. Miss Mackle opened the cover of the tank and took out the net. She scooped up the dead fish. Then she put her finger in the water. Why, this water is hot. Someone has been fooling with the temperature knob. Uh-oh, who do you think was messing with the temperature? I think it was Harry. Everyone looked at the thermometer. The mercury was way above the green zone. Who would do such a horrible thing? Miss Mackle exclaimed. Everyone looked at Harry. I did too. Harry loves to do horrible things. Miss Mackle waited for someone to speak. Sydney spoke first. Harry is the fish monitor. He did it. Do you know anything about this? Miss Mackle asked Harry. Harry shook his head. Miss Mackle said, we wouldn't be doing we wouldn't be doing little theater that afternoon. She said she didn't feel like doing anything fun. She was too disappointed. We worked at our seats the rest of the afternoon. It was a long day. When Harry when Harry lined up at three o'clock, no one wanted to stand next to him except me. Do you think I did it? Harry asked as we walked home. I didn't say anything. I wasn't sure. Doug, Harry said, I wouldn't do anything that horrible. I plan on being a great scientist someday with you, remember? I would never take the life of a single living thing, not a beetle or an ant or a single blade of grass. I knew Harry never mowed the lawn. He told his mother he couldn't kill grass. What do you think? Did Harry do it? And if it wasn't Harry, who else could it be? We walked home without talking. We didn't even eat Harry's homemade fudge. We just didn't feel like it. The next morning, Harry made a poster and put it up by the fish tank. It was a picture of a tombstone and a graveyard. And it said, God bless our black Molly. Then in the top part was a bunch of fish with yellow wings and halos flying around. What's that up there? I asked. Fish heaven, Harry replied. Miss Mackle started the morning as usual with a conversation. Boys and girls, we need to talk about our fish. We are responsible for them, and somehow we made an error. 
Sydney raised his hand. Harry is the fish monitor. He likes to do horrible things. Harry did it. He should stay after school. Then he sat back in his chair and smiled. And there's Sydney raising his hand. I looked at Sydney. Then it dawned on me, revenge. That's what Sydney wanted. He wanted to get even because Harry had put that ice water down his back. Harry raised his fist at Sydney. I wouldn't cook a fish like that. Prove it, Sydney replied. Harry, Miss Mackle said, do you know anything about how the Black Molly died? Harry shook his head. Everyone made a face. No one believed Harry except me. Did anyone see someone at the fish tank just before the lunch bell, I asked. Song Lee had her hand in the air for the very first time. Yes, Song Lee, Miss Mackle said. Did you see someone? Softly, Song Lee spoke. I see Sydney by the tank just before bell ring. He reached behind where Nob is. Sydney sank down in his chair. Miss Mackle glared at him. Sydney looked at the teacher, then at the class. His face turned red. I didn't, I didn't mean to kill the fish. I just, I just, there's a picture. Just what, Miss Mackle asked. Wanted to get, Sydney's voice got softer and softer. Harry in trouble. We'll talk about it after school, Miss Mackle said firmly. Harry looked over at Song Lee and beamed. Harry really isn't that horrible. On a scale of one to 10, he is probably a seven for horribleness. Then I noticed Harry get up and get his lunchbox. He took something out of it and gave it to Song Lee. It was two pieces of homemade fudge. Forget that seven. Anyone who gives my fudge away to a girl is a 10. There he is giving some fudge to Song Lee. Our last chapter is called Horrible Harry and the Class Picture. Wonder what's going to happen on Picture Day to Harry and his friends. Stay tuned and have a great Thursday.